Hi, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to learn any programming language without having much prior information or experience in any programming language. So it's a, it's a kind of way in which we can learn any programming language within very much uh, short time, like one week or two weeks, that's it. So so to do that so today i'm going to uh, show you python which is uh, nowadays i'm going to learn means i'm learning and uh, one thing i had to uh, tell that uh, if you want to learn any program language we don't have to go to through uh, any book or uh, heavy material to learn to read to remember everything we don't have to do that all we don't even need to do this we just have to do one thing that uh, is to apply if we are going to learn some language we just have to apply that uh, language so we are going to use the same technique and for applying I mean for using that programming language I will take an example like moving a rectangle uh, so for that I will make a canvas and in that I will make a rectangle and I will move that uh, left right top bottom both in all the directions so to do that we will create some buttons also and then we will understand how uh, that thing and Python coding uh, code Python codes work uh, to uh, create that uh, simple example okay so to do that let's uh, create a scratch file a basic normal file uh, empty file okay let's python let's name it um, tutorial you right tutorial one so after doing this we will need uh, one thing that we don't even need I don't even have uh, much uh, experience of Python coding but the thing is within one week I'm able to understand I'm able to uh, write the code very efficiently to get some uh, to full to get some objective uh, completed so today I'm going to tell you how to do that. Uh, the one thing is that uh, we have to be very kind of uh, uh, kind of ex not excited. I mean, very ready to learn anything. Uh, not even go going through the books. We don't even know. We don't even need to go through the books. We just have to uh, understand whatever the tool uh, says, and we're going to use that only. If we get any error, we will. Uh, find those errors and uh, we will troubleshoot them one by one this is how we learn coding uh, very quickly means uh, normally if we go through a book uh, it will take at least one week to read that book completely and then we'll have to uh, one by one apply that apply whatever the knowledge we read but instead of doing that instead of wasting on our time on the books on the uh, heavy material which is difficult to uh, read within one or two days uh, we will apply the uh, the coding uh, whatever the uh, coding we want to learn we will just directly apply that so let's take an example uh, i want to make a very basic simple kind of game like uh, means four buttons will be there to move uh, a rectangle so to do that we have to uh, understand that there will be a uh, some graphical uh, library which is always necessary in any programming language which always there uh, to do some graphical uh, operations so in python that graphical uh, library i'm going to import which is tk inter so for that the way of importing a file uh, we have to understand that uh, that is from tkinter and 
I have to import this thing. So whatever is there in the TK enter that module uh, TK enter library whatever is there that star uh, shows that whatever is there is being imported from the TK enter library whatever the module is there now because we are working on the python so it's an uh, object oriented programming so we have to create a uh, kind of object and so that whatever the work is going on going will be doing on that object only so let's create an object i will name that object uh, window and this will be my Okay, so this is my object now what I had to do that uh, one thing is that uh, if one object is created uh, after that uh, I have to make our code uh, means one thing which is that canvas means in which we will be making all the uh, drawing all means whatever the shape we have to create so that canvas we have to create so in any programming language uh, that will be there so what is the command uh, in the python we'll have to find but today means if we, we are very new we don't know how to create the canvas we don't know how to import these things how to uh, use that canvas so in python on mainly on pycharm because i work on pycharm so how to use that how to find that uh, canvas and how to uh, usage i mean how to find the usage of canvas we have to uh, find so let's search this thing because there's an option to search whatever you want whatever you want to learn so just press this search option and then uh, type canvas so see you can see that canvas so means it's it's just an example which i have told that uh, if a canvas uh, command is there we have to we can use that uh, so let's take one more uh, object uh, which contains a canvas and not uh, any other thing so i will name that like uh, shape not shape like, uh, mm, what to name that scene S C E N E scene so that whatever the uh, view we are going to see that will be in that canvas only so I am going to name that canvas uh, which is the function of TK interlibrary itself I am going to name that so that will be canvas so you can see that uh, uh, PyCharm Py tool itself is able to I means it is uh, going to find whatever the uh, function you're going to, we are going to use so he is able to find that we are going to use canvas so he, he is giving the reference of that so either I can uh, type tab so that it can take uh, or I can do enter right and now because it is an object oriented programming so we have after that we have to uh, uh, means we have to make it uh, we have to make this object using okay so we have to make the scene uh, object uh, which is called canvas and after that yeah so we have to make this canvas object which is scene so we'll making we'll be using this command canvas C A N B A S that's it and then brackets now uh, it itself shows uh, where we want to make the canvas and means it's so showing the some reference these things so we have to understand what is this thing uh, one thing is the master which is none master is something which where the uh, the thing which is going to help hold the canvas thing like uh, in my case I want to make the canvas in uh, window window in the sense whichever the window I want to make uh, I will make within that thing okay before that I had to uh, tell you one more thing that uh, I can make uh, a pop-up window 
which can con which will contain uh, this canvas so okay this is one more thing I can comment in but before that uh, this window thing what is this window right now so we'll have to understand this thing this is just nothing but uh, this is just a window which we can see this thing also right uh, this is also a window so we want to make such kind of uh, empty window where we will, we want to go we are going to make a canvas we are going to make buttons so uh, to see that whether it whether it is creating a window or not we are going to see so we are going to write the code first of all so let's uh, do this okay so first of all save it and then run so when we run it we are uh, able to see nothing means we cannot see anything because uh, whatever the run was there was finished completely you can see here process finished with exit code 0 there is no uh, there was no error in running that but still we are not able to get any output because uh, python has something which if you are going to uh, make a window which uh, should be visible then we'll have to uh, make it repeatedly means it once the code runs then it just pop ups and immediately when the code is, uh, stops it uh, goes down means it becomes visible so to make it uh, completely visible again and again we have to uh, run it again and again so we are going to make that means we are going to use a command which is uh, very uh, important for that uh, again and again uh, repetition of the code of window so that is uh, window yeah dot main loop that's it now now if we save this sorry okay control that if we save this and run this uh, code we are able to see this window so earlier what was, what was happening this window was there which popped up but once after running and the code it uh, immediately uh, when it, it immediately um, disappeared because of this uh, line was not means because of this line which was not present earlier so this time it is here so we are able to see this because this is the, the because this is the line which is running the code again and again so we are able to see this window again and again okay now we don't even need this uh, line anymore means this this window anymore because we are going to proceed further okay so let's leave this as it is and now we are going to make the canvas so scene is the object which is having canvas and in which uh, means where it this canvas is going to be that is the window right so window is something which is holding this canvas and what should be the height and width of the canvas will uh, should be the height of uh, I mean the uh, what should be the height and width of this canvas be we are going to mention right now so width uh, okay let's take height first which okay I'm going to take uh, it 500 and now width and one thing is that uh, right now it is full complete means it is able to mention the canvas is canvas it is able to create the canvas in the window uh, but we are not able we will not we will not be able to see that because the canvas will be uh, very transparent means whatever the will canvas will be having there will be no color for that so we cannot distinguish uh, what is the window and what is the canvas so let's check this thing we'll save it uh, and we'll run it again so you can see this uh, this thing the window is like empty it is nothing it is having nothing right and one more thing is there that we have whatever is there uh, means canvas we have to uh, pack it or set set in the sense uh, whatever the uh, object is created uh, in window that object must be bound so or its place must be means where that uh, object is placed within the window within this 500 by 500 uh, size sorry within this window uh, where this 500 by 500 side will uh, be situated or created that's uh, that place we have to mention so for that we are going to use um, 
seam dot place okay this is one command which uh, sets the canvas object uh, at some place we are going to mention so I'm going to give the coordinate x 0 and y equal to 0 now if I save it I will be able to see the uh, canvas but still that will be uh, invisible okay so I run that but this is invisible why because that canvas is, canvas itself is white and window is also white so we are not able to distinguish between these two so what is still remaining what else we can do we can do that uh, we can give some color to the canvas so what for that we can do is uh, okay for there is one command um, foreground equal to let's take pink so my canvas color will be pink and whatever the shape I will be making in the canvas will be uh, in some other color than the pink that will not be white anymore but the window will be white so we are able to distinguish whatever the canvas is whatever the window is whatever the other things will be so okay let's save it and run it again okay so it's giving some errors that uh, yeah tk enter tk error unknown option fg okay so maybe this command is not here yeah, this will be background yeah control s and f10 yeah so you can see that canvas and the window this is window which can be resized and can be uh, anything which can which can be minimized which can be maximized and this much which is pink is our canvas where we are going to make the shape so let's close this one we are able to see whatever the uh, effect of this canvas is now what was the what else was there that uh, this window is always opening at some minimum space it's not uh, very large means it's not up to the fit uh, or very large uh, of the I mean where we uh, fit all the canvas and where we can put some buttons right so for that we'll be doing some uh, provision some uh, we'll be doing some dimensions or something uh, to make this window a little bit larger okay so for that we'll do yeah so to resize uh, our window or to fix the size of our window we have to size it means we have to mention some size for the window so we will use some command window dot geometry right geometry and here we'll be mentioning some dimensions like uh, okay this is used within single uh, okay so x will be equal to okay not x let's take it 500 and we will use we will be using x x is here for multiplication and again 500 and this thing shows our entire uh, window size we'll save it and run it again yeah so as you can see that uh, the window is not uh, this was earlier it was very small now it is very bigger and then it was earlier so it uh, initially opened with 500 sorry what is the size 500 by 500 size now one thing is that the our our canvas is very big means it's almost equal to the windows size so we have to reduce it little bit little bit so I'll be reducing it for 300 and for 300 now control save and again run so now we are able to see this canvas and canvas is very I mean it's something which is uh, less uh, sized it is occupying less area than the window which is what we which is what we want to do okay now the next thing is we want to make some buttons some buttons uh, to make uh, up down and left and right option why because we are going to make a rectangle this is what our objective was in uh, big in beginning 
will create a rectangle in the uh, canvas and that will be controlled by uh, outside uh, of the canvas means uh, some buttons outside the canvas okay so for that we'll be making uh, we'll be writing something 